In a German road test, one car beat the Mercedes 190. In America, the coupe version beat the Porsche 944. Yet it's in the same price range as, say, a Cavalier or a Montiglia. The 626. You'll be amazed at a Mazda. Steven Spielberg and Robert Zemeckis bring you Back to the Magic. Back to the action. In Back to the Future. Get back to a cinema near you. Thanks, Grant. That's a big 50 pence. Have you ever noticed how some people are more financially astute than others? I'll give you two quid. Get yourself along to the pictures. Three quid. Two pound 50. Done. Just for them, there's now a special kind of current account. A nationwide flex account gives you instant withdrawal, free services and standing orders. Plus, higher than usual interest. <laughs> Open a nationwide flex account. You can bank on it to make you money. Elton John, Ice on Fire. The album with the hits Wrapper Up and Nikita. Now you can keep your car running well and looking good. Save money on garage bills and know that you've done a good job with car care. A new weekly guide to maintaining and repairing your own car. Covering every popular make and model. It shows you exactly what to do and how to do it. With plenty of jobs for the beginner, as well as for the more experienced. Published in weekly sections for filing in these practical binders. Car care is on sale now. Ed and Joe's Car Wash Service. It's only five bucks. Great. Okay, Joey, we got 18 cars to clean. So let's go have a Budweiser. But Ed, you fixed us two days' work to do in two hours. You're a nice guy, Joey, but you panic. Look, I got Billy to keep the Budweiser's cool. When you drink a beer that's strong yet smooth because it's matured over Beechwood, you can take your time. The beer's great, Ed. But what about the cars? <laughs> Joseph, we just went automatic. <laughs> Budweiser, coolest beer in town. Many of you will know America only from the coastal stretches of Florida and California, or maybe New York. But Kansas and St. Louis are typical of those vast tracts of the country known as the Midwest. The saying goes that St. Louis is the most westerly city in eastern America, and Kansas the most easterly in the western half of the country. It was once the province of pioneers. It's still farming country, split by that great artery, Route 66. The attitudes of Missouri and its people are summed up by a resident of Kansas. We have traditional American values here, he said. We like to get our children to school on time. If the Royals are going to stay in the series and take the cards back to Kansas for a possible game six, they have to win a game. History is still against them. Only four teams have come back from being three games to one down in a World Series. <laughs> Well, that completes our baseball for the time being. American football will be back at the usual time of 6 o'clock on Sunday with the first of the playoffs. Los Angeles Rams versus Dallas Cowboys and Miami Dolphins versus Cleveland Browns. And there's more sport at 2.30 on Friday when we start our coverage of Snooker's Mercantile Credit Classic from Warrington. And as for Dire Straits... <laughs> Four 
86. They were live in 85. Dire Straits. Dire Straits in concert on Channel 4. We continue our launder in Gilead season next with a story of the strains of a wartime marriage where the husband's away at the front and the wife is lured into the arms of a local spiv. But the husband returns and that leads to a classic confrontation in Waterloo Road after the break. Get a free brake safety check at Midas. Drive in any time and let one of our fully trained brake specialists give your brakes a thorough safety inspection. Don't run the risk of driving on faulty brakes. Get them checked free by Midas, the brake people. It pays to Midas size. The very latest technology from one of the world's largest microwave manufacturers. Who is it? Samsung. You pay for our product, not our name. No greater test for the sportsman than the modern pentathlon. The javelin, the high jump, the shooting, the floor exercises, and my best event, the bars. Half a second slow. It's funny. It was all right at training this morning. Half master. A great lager. Follow the bear. How do you eat your Cadbury's cream eggs? Shake it in one, son. Mm. Look, no hands, Suzanne. Mm. Fancy a nibble, Sybil. Eat it when you're free, Jeremy. Just give it a suck, chuck. <laughs> Bite it in two, Emmy Lou. So, how do you eat your Cadbury's cream eggs? They're not here forever, Trevor. Imagine a car factory where no one has ever gone on strike. And where no one has ever been made redundant. Imagine if the managing director dressed just the same as the men on the line. Imagine if the management and the workers got together every day to see how they could make their cars even better. Maybe then it would be possible to make cars so good you could guarantee them for three years or 100,000 miles. Is this just a flight of fancy? It appears not. Hello. Well, here's a look at some of our programmes later tonight. At 7 o'clock, there's a look at the life of Larry Parnes, the almost legendary rock manager of the 50s. Then there's a look at another legendary rock figure, Carl Perkins, in blue suede shoes. That's followed at 9 o'clock by some unknown chaplain. And then yet another legend, Bridget Bardo, her own story starts at 10 o'clock. And with the comic strip presenting their version of Consuela, 
which is a sort of takeoff of Rebecca at 11. That takes us up to the Persuaders, well known from the 60s, at a quarter to midnight. And that completes our viewing for New Year's Day here on 4. <laughs> This afternoon we present a double bill from our Laundry and Gilead season. A little later on you can indulge in the happiest days of your life, but first Sydney and Frank introduce a wartime love story, Waterloo Road. Um, Waterloo Road was my first solo direction, and I can tell you that I felt very alone on it. The story was by our old friend Val Valentine. Mm. He'd, uh, on his way home to Thames Ditton, he'd seen the people um, sleeping in the shelters below Waterloo Station mm. and he wrote a sort of portmanteau story covering about six groups which we find down to one with uh, one or two mm. subplots. Uh, the, the producer was Edward Black who had a great deal of faith as you know in both of us and he backed me up, saw me through the picture but I didn't know at that time that he was in a state of feud with the overall boss, Maurice Ostra, mm. who didn't want the film to be made. Mm. It wasn't made easy by the usual trouble that uh, you don't get working class leads, or didn't at that time in British mm. films. Mm. And so you have to get people who are not of that category playing, playing the leads yeah. and pretending to be. So that I had uh, Stuart Granger playing this boxing spiv from Shoreditch, mm. Ted Purvis, and Johnny Mills playing a sort of private soldier on, uh, on, the... on AWL and um, well what it really depended on was the fight between the two. I know, that was, that was noted by, by the critics and everybody. I, I think the chief contribution I made to the picture was saying to them more or less continuously from the start of the film, well, the film would be no good if the fight isn't mm. good so we must work on it all the time. And, Johnny and uh, Stuart Granger did. They worked on it. They worked on it with Dave Crowley, the lightweight champion. Yeah. And in the end, they gave a very good fight. Mm. But uh, having said that, I was called off the production in, in the January. I was not allowed to, uh, by that time, Black had resigned. I wasn't allowed to shoot again till July. And they couldn't put it in the, into dubbing shape until nearly Christmas so that the picture was delayed by at least a year and was regarded uh, as a joke by Maurice Ostra. And then it came out and took the Southern Area record. Mm. Oh, it did very well. 